Now let us discuss about deterministic pushdown automata. In short, we can call it as DPDA. We can classify PDA into two types. First one is deterministic pushdown automata. Second one is non-deterministic pushdown automata. Already we have seen about non-deterministic pushdown automata. So in this class, our focus is on DPDA. So DPDA means if we apply input symbol on the current state, then it produces only one state. Then it is called as DPDA. So let we have a state called Q0. Q0. Let the input symbol is A. So on applying A, if we go, if we traverse to the only one state, so then it is called as then it is called as DPDA. Here on applying A, we are staying at Q0 only. So this is called as deterministic pushdown automata. Let's take another example. So here on applying A on Q0, we are moving to only one state that is Q1. So this is called as DPDA. Whereas non-deterministic pushdown automata means on applying an input symbol on the state, on the current state, if we can move to the two different states, then it is called as non-deterministic pushdown automata. So let's see this example here. On applying A on Q0, here we are staying at Q0 only. So Q0 is the current state as well as next state. On applying A on Q0, we are traversing to the Q1 state. So Q0 is the current state, Q1 is the next state. So this is an example for NPDA. So same input symbol causes two next states. Okay. Uh, now let's see about uh, examples for the DPDA. Already we have seen these examples. The first example is L is equal to A power N, B power N such that N greater than or equal to 1. Second example, L is equal to A power N, B power 2N such that N is greater than or equal to 1. Third example, L is equal to W C W power R such that W belongs to A plus B whole star. Next, fourth example, L is equal to W such that number of NA of W is equal to NB of W where W is a combination of A plus B whole star. So these four are the famous examples for DPDA. So already we have seen the, uh, these examples. So I will share the links in the description. Uh, so if you have any doubts, then please refer those videos. Uh, so let us see the first one. L is equal to A power N, B power N, such that N greater than or equal to 1. So here uh, uh, N number of A's are followed by N number of B's. Okay. So let N is equal to 2A. Then 2A's are followed by 2B's. So here we need to explain one of the example. Uh, let us see about A power N, B power N. Uh, here the logic is very very simple. We have to push A's onto the stack. And uh, if we read the B, then pop A from the stack. Okay. So let we have 2A's, 2B's. So A will be pushed onto the stack. A will be, first A, A will be pushed onto the stack. Next symbol is A. So this A will also be pushed down to the stack. Next, if we read B, then we have to pop the stack. So this A will be popped. If we read B, then this A will be popped. So we have to pop A from the stack. Okay. Uh, let us design the PDA for the first example. Here the logic is very, very simple. Logic is very, very simple. Uh, let the string is AABB and let the stack is empty. Okay. Uh, so uh, currently we are at state Q0. Q0. If the input symbol is A, as well as stack is empty. If the input symbol is A, as well as stack is empty, then we have to push A onto the stack. So if we read A and the stack is empty, then we have to push this A onto the stack. So next, if the, what is the next symbol? This A. If the input symbol is A, as well as stack stopmost symbol is A, then we have to push this A onto the stack. So push this A onto the stack. So we will be at Q not only, okay? So next, if the input symbol is B, here what is the input symbol? B is the input symbol. And stacks topmost symbol is A, then simply we need to perform the pop operation. That is denoted by epsilon. Okay. So if we read the B, first B, then we have to move from Q0 to Q1 state. Next, on Q1, 
if you read any number of bees, if you read any number of bees, then and here for the first bee, so we need to pop this here. For if if the symbol is B and the stack stopmost symbol is A, then simply we need to perform the pop operation. Here the symbol is B as well as stack stopmost symbol is A. So simply we need to perform the pop operation. Okay. Next we know that epsilon denotes end of the string. If the string is ended, then it is denoted by epsilon. Okay. So if the input symbol is epsilon as well as stack is empty, then don't change the stack. So keep the content as it is and move the state from Q1 to Q2. So this Q2 is the final state. So you need to explain a minimum one example. Okay. Already we have seen these four examples. What is the second example? A power n, B power 2n such that n greater than or equal to 1. So n number of years are followed by 2n number of Bs. So next one Wc, W power R. Okay. So if the string is AB, then AB, this is center marker. What is the reverse of W? BA. So here odd palindrome string means this is DPDA. Whereas even palindrome. So that means W, W power R means this is NPDA. So already we have seen this example. Okay. I will share the link in the description. So if you are unfamiliar, then please refer that link. Okay. Here W such that NA of W equal to NB of W. That means number of A's in the uh, number of A's as well as number of B's in the string must be equal. So let the string is A, B, B. So number of A's are 2, number of B's are 2. So let the string is B, A, B, A. So number of A's are 2, number of B's are 2. Let the string is uh, A, B, A, B. So number of A's are 2, number of B's are 2. Likewise, okay. Uh, here, why this is called as DPDA? Why? Because here on applying an input symbol, then we will move to only one state. So on applying A on Q0, we are staying at Q0 only. On applying A on Q0, here stack stopmost symbol is Z0. If the input symbol is A and stack stopmost symbol is Z0, then we will be at Q0 state only. If the input symbol is A as well as here stack stopmost symbol is Z0 here, whereas here the stack stopmost symbol is A. If the input symbol is A and stack stopmost symbol is A, these two are different here. Then we will be we will stay at Q0 only. Okay. If the input symbol is B and stack stopmost symbol is A, if, uh, if, if this is applied on Q0, then we will move to only one state. If the input symbol is B, stack stopmost symbol is A, then we will stay at Q1 only. So here, if we apply the input symbol on the current state, then if it traverse to the only one next state, then it is called as DPDA. NPDA means on applying input symbol. If it traverse to the different states, then it is called as NPDA. Okay. 